Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I'm the Marmoset, and welcome to a park that has an angry criminal face on it. I'm assuming the police will go and deal with that in a bit. In our last episode, we built a mole circle, our new, quite pleasantly shaped, with its feathers and uh, its underground uh, link-up. Yeah, you still, still, people still haven't figured out that you don't have any power over here, haven't you? Um, is there a, a way I could put power in without having to, you know, stick ridiculous amounts of wasp names and things in? Um, will that do? Yes, alright, that's got part of it done. Fine. And then, if I move the park into the middle... There we go. Alright, that should connect the power up briefly. Fine. Done. We became a Megaropolis. One of the things we got as a reward for this was... Whoa, other thing, massive industrial demand and offices, which I think we're looking at doing an office district next, ladies and gentlemen. Building is on fire. Yes, that's fine. Deal with it later. Looking at perhaps some kind of office district. Um, probably, well, we've got this huge amount of trees. But let's just do a quick resource check. Trees... Some oil, more stone, a little bit of agricultural land tucked over in the distance over there. More oil, a little bit of agriculture in the distance over here. Lots of trees. We've got a really good location over here if we want to do more of our forestry stuff, which is probably what this area is going to become. So that industrial demand will be filled, maybe next episode, maybe this episode. But in the immediate term, we have a new building. Our shiny new building is that we have a local airport. The airport opens the sky for travelling to faraway lands. Tourism will benefit greatly from plane traffic. The airport needs a road connection, but can be freely placed anywhere on the map. Doesn't produce any... Um, let's go away. Buildings keep burning down. Doesn't produce much in the way of normal pollution, which is not right, but does produce a lot of air pollution. So let's have a look at what our airport looks like. Placed on a roadside... Well, actually, let's just quickly take that away. Oh, it's got dark. Thank you very much for this. I'm obviously thinking about this is going to be our large main city centre. And we want to make sure that any airport or location we build has decent connections to the rest of our city. Um, and is, you know, properly plugged in and all that jazz. Well, there's a mess, as you would expect. There's just lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of trucks. Because, you know, there's just lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of trucks. Um, I wonder if I can't, just quickly, while I'm prevaricating, stick that on, and maybe to maybe in the longer term, get a few more trucks away and going. Because ideally all you really want roundabouts to be for is just for people to be changing direction. So there are a few trucks going that way. I think perhaps part of the problem is that these two combine as they do, rather than being... Come on, I saw it go green a second ago. Nice, very nice. Can we not get that as a slightly better connection? Thank you. And then flip the direction. Nice. Is that these two meet at the same point. So traffic's backing up. Because all the trucks are sat on top of each other. I will possibly be Thank you. Done. All right, I just done. It's basically made that junction more complicated, but we've added a relief valve. So if anyone's trying to get down here, 
a pair of immediate right turns, they should start using these roads. So those ones that are going round. Deal with that later. Airport. We wanted to put an airport in. There's a nice bit of empty space. That'll connect people straight into the middle of our city. And we will probably have to do some jiggery pokery. Pokery jiggery. We're putting some kind of dedicated junction in to get people in and off it. So let's stick a simple little road in. Make it straight. And let's see if our airport. Okay. Much wider than I thought it was. Doesn't fit there. Does not fit in that gap. Fits not. Fits not. So that's how big the airport actually is. Don't want to stick it in over in this quite pleasant little industrial area. Got no space on the end of there. Potentially could put it over here, but do we have space over here? Potentially. There's potentially space between the railway line. That produces a lot of noise. And there are going to be grumpy people in that part of town. Can't fit it in over here, which is a shame. Because that would have been a nice spot. What's getting in the way? Um, everything. Fine. Ooh. Why am I in Ari about this? Well, what I'm looking for a spot is a, is a place where I can give it a dedicated on and off access to the highway. And I think I am probably just going to stick it in over here. So, we will put a piece of, well, actually something we can do very quickly is while I'm here, grab the upgrade tool and go thunk, 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 thunk. Uh, I just pushed the wrong buttons. There we go. Right, have roads back. Left click is what I wanted. For upgrade, not change. Right. Anyway, I'm assuming that doesn't delete too much in the way of anything important. Um, single road, that road. And then I've got a new building. I just picked it up. Nice long road along there. We will then grab our airport. And let's just stick it in the middle for now. Done. Try not to crash. Wow. Watch the happiness wave bounce out from there. We need to connect this up. Power, which we can easily get by putting an offensively large park opposite it not quite hmm not quite far enough do we have any no we're all the wrong size we need some kind of building on the other side of it this <laughs> is satellite dish well it would kind of make sense Bus stations, taxi ranks, bus station would be too big, bus depot. Ah, what I could put is a, really, just ever so slightly the wrong size, not big enough. Put the taxi rank in. Fine, I will have to put a power cable in. didn't really want to do, they're ugly, ugly, ugly as hell. Nothing else I can stick in the tiny. Hmm. Does that carry power? It does carry power. It's not nearly quite so offensively ugly. Alright, that's that plugged in, so you've got now got power and water. Next thing we need to do is connect you to the rest of the world. Now, we have the advantage of being able to do tunnels and all the rest of it. So that is probably the other bits and pieces we will be doing is some kind of tunnel based connection to get you plugged in both the directions. So 
just scrub the last little bit of that road there. A little, bit off, a little bit here. So let's build ourselves a little roundabout. And then we should be able to... Yeah, let's, yeah, let's grab a roundabout. Let's grab the actual roundabout. Oh, let's do... Well, actually, no. Let's do an underground one again, actually. Let's face it, they worked quite well last time. We've got the space, and it will prevent people from getting too pissy at us for all the noise. So... The way that's just basically saying it's already occupied by the road that's directly above it. Fine, I can solve that problem. By just deleting that. Now, if you'll let me have my highway back. We'll do the thing while we plug it in. So you are going that way. Fair enough. Another thing we need to do is change the direction because of what I remember the default one is going the wrong way. And connect, so grab from there. And come up. From there, come around, duck down. Come from there, come around, come down. And connect. Why have you come back? Wow. Okay. Um. Let's not do anything quite so dumb. It must be because of the, how the terrain is lining up over here. Fun. No, that's just going silly. Stop this now. No, not the wrong button. Stop it. Just getting silly now. Reverse your direction. Yep, got both of them. And then let's have the off-ramp. So there's the connection for that way. Now we need to connect the, this road to this road. Which we can do. Modicum of sanity, in a particularly Marmosetian way. Really? You're not going to let me do that? It's just sad. Back up to the surface. Oh, yeah, well, you won't let me do this. And there's a road underneath. Sense it makes not. It must be just because of the terrain. Yeah, it's the terrain. <laughs> Strange and bizarre. Strange and bizarre. So this whole adventure in trying to put underground roundabout in isn't working very well at the moment. Hmm. Let's 
I've got the motorway bit connected up. Let's grab that, grab this, go back up to the surface. Alright, so we've got the motorway connected to that. Now we need to get this road connected to the roundabout. Our underground roundabout. Well, let's see about if we come in from this direction. Dive, my Hawkman. So it's breaching the ground, essentially. Alright, fine. Metroid. I was not successful. Much deleting to be had, while we quickly work out what we're going to try next. Okay, I'm going to leave that park over there, I will put it back in a bit. Alright. So we need a way of connecting this a lot up. Well, I suppose one way of doing it would be to make round up. Well, thank you very much. That's going that way around. Let's have it go the other way around. And then... Oh, right, it was only three meters beneath the ground was my underground road. My underground, um... Roundabout, fair enough. No, it looks like I would be better off doing a curve from here. Alright, so now we have one very long roundabout, which we should be able to connect in some kind of way. So. Plug into there. Plug out. Plug into there. And out. Okay, so there's the loop that lets you get all the way around you wanted to go. Now I should be able to. Uh, that park is probably just going to have to stay there, as I suspect. There is no longer quite enough space for it. Hmm. Let's try moving it into position. And let's just double check whether or not we can actually Yeah, very much not so. Fair enough. It was worth a look. You never know, you might discover something amazing when you're out and about in your travels. But I want to jump into Peace Garden though. 
Yeah, but there is enough space for a football field. Ooh, time up, ladies and gentlemen. Let me just have a quick finish getting our roadways in over here. There we go. There is our connection. Our taxi is on their way. And then we do want to do is... Well, taxi depot is all that very useful. What we really want are the taxis is a taxi stand and we are going to want to connect a bus in to that so let's grab our bus 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 I would like to start a line there I would like that line to connect in here I would like that line simply straight back that is bus number 31. So that will be... Ooh, we need a name for our airport. Ocelot Air, I think. Ocelot Air Connect. And you will be a lovely shade of cloud grey. There. Slightly dark and grey. There, bingo. Good, good. Shiny. Right. You're connected in. Should have a load of buses. Suddenly start making their way to and from that. But I wonder if we're going to get an airplane land anytime soon. Squadrons of taxis heading out on their way. It's our bus depot. And there's one of our grey buses heading on its way. Lots of people busy here. Absolutely full. I think perhaps what we will be doing next time, ladies and gentlemen, is it's really time, and it's finally maybe time for a metro. One here, one here, probably one down near the Avery. Vertway parks come up. Basically just put a line that weaves back and forth along here, so maybe even a, a sub-loop? A loop, yeah. Airport to the Feather, Mole Circle, Otterways, Avery, Jellyfish of Horrors, Starfish Shore, Starfish Smile, and then back round again, and have a station here, a station here, just as interchange points for what will be a vertical one, probably running straight up through the centre of the city. So, yeah, I think we're looking at doing that. In the interim, don't really have much of a district out here, but we could, since it's all plumbed up and everything, put some offices in. If there is a absurd industrial demand. They will quite quickly fill up, and just a little bit of extra thing you stick along there, just next to the airport, airport businesses. Are we going to get a plane? Are we going to get a plane? Interesting kind of steep slopes there. Train noises. Busy, busy train noises. Just while I'm thinking train noises. Yeah, you're not too bad. You're not too bad. This is going to get... Probably we'll leave this one just serving the commercial district. But what we will do is definitely put in a... And we'll plan this entire new district, this new industrial district, will be based off of a rail connection in the centre of it. So, thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. This episode has been about the airport and me desperately, desperately fiddling in my attempts to come up with some kind of vaguely sensible junction system around here. We've actually technically got zoning on this side as well. So I am going to zone that also with um, just a little bit of an industrial park. We are going to give this its own little district. Because I can just tuck that up there, so it doesn't interfere too much with Starfish Shores. Rosewood Square. No, it's not. It's Ocelot Air. Why? Well, because the airport's on it. This is a prestige thing, and I want to be able to see the name of it from quite far away. Any particular policies you want to put in? Uh, no, but point in high tech housing, old town, no. Commercial tax rates for offices, tax relief for offices. Which point in there? Services? No. Blah, 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 blah. No city planning, high tech housing, industrial space planning. Doubles the amount of goods produced. Nope, I'm pretty happy with that. The last thing I want to do then is K 
connect the two with a path. No, that's my budget. Just so that people can walk back and forth. So you just need someone when you wanted to get on foot from the airport to Starfish Shores, they can. So, a path done. Ah, oh yes, one fine little bit. Where are trees? Trees? Trees with leaves. Trees with leaves. Right, well, for the noise. And just to fill this in a bit, just to make it look a little bit nicer. No, no, but the trees in the line of path of the plane. That would be bad. Grand. All right, thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I've been the Marmoset. This has been the episode where um, Animalia in City Skylines got an airport. Please remember to like and subscribe if you really, really enjoy long-distance travel by tin can with wings. <laughs>